Morning all. Morning my loves. How are we? Let's just check we're up and running. A minute late. Apologies. Apologies. We had a slight emergency with potty training. I know. Oh, hello. That's going off as well. We're on. Right. Here we go. Now, let's just check we're up and running on this end. How about that? Let's do that. And we are good to go. Oh, the angle of the dangle seems to be all right. So let's turn that down. And I think we're off and running. Before we start, who's first out the blocks today? Anna Gibraltar here. Uh, buenos dias. I know, you're very welcome. Um, and morning to everybody else. Uh, Karen, Gordon, lovely, Michelle, Cynthia. Uh, Elizabeth, Michelle, Deborah, AJ, Joanne, everybody, morning, and thank you very much for joining us. And um, we're going to do some tango today. Now, we're not going to do the Argentine tango or Argentine tango, it depends how you, what you fancy. We're going to do the, we're going to do a bit more of the ballroom tango. So, uh, uh, what have we done? We've done very, very simply, we've done uh, walks and rocks and side, uh, backside together, a uh, uh, closed promenade. And then we, we did a link before, and we did the, do you remember we did the um, swivel variation here? If you haven't seen that, then you can have a look at some of the uh, past uh, classes. Uh, look for the tango one, and you'll see all that stuff that we've done, we did it more slowly. Today I'm gonna add a, a new step. It's, it's a, a sort of, um, a, uh, a development, correct word, on the rock, just the rock. Now we're going to do it with a turn. So really it's our precursor to pivoting. Now I know we all love a pivot. I love a pivot. If I can whack a pivot in something, I'm going to do it. Whatever it is, whether it's a dance or something else in the supermarket, if we ever get to go to the supermarket again, I'll whack a pivot in. Just, just why not? Because it's Thursday. So what we're going to do with this, but this is how we're going to start it as a thing. I think that's attractive, me rubbing the eye. Now, it starts off so basically the same way as the basic rock turn does. So for the boy, I'm going to go forward on my left foot, and I forward and then forward on my right foot, and I just rock from foot to foot, and they go back side together. That's the basic rock turn. Um, Oh, yeah, one other thing before we carry on. Yesterday I had a sort of crisis of confidence yesterday on the lady steps of the change of hand behind the back variation, which is absolutely right. I didn't need to have a crisis at all. Probably been because I haven't done it for three months uh, or four. Um, uh, but it was absolutely fine. So what we did yesterday was absolutely fine. I had a little check. Just so you don't think I'm throwing this stuff together. So back to the rock turn. Now for the ladies, the basic rock turn goes back on the right foot, back and back on the left foot, and then just rock from foot to foot and then you go forward side together now we're going to add a bit of turn into the rock so what I'm going to do is same principle applies forward forward and then I'm going to rock it I'm going to go rock and as I move my left foot as a man is the one that goes round the right one stays where it is rock, rock and then my left one goes round the circle so essentially I'm doing this going round the circle so I rock and change the position, rock, change my foot, rock, and change my foot, rock. Now, the key to this is that one, you don't take too big a uh, turning variation yet, or turning part, because it's still early doors, and two, is that you keep your feet in this position. And for the lady, you keep your feet in this position, your legs in this position. So they're full, one is forward of the other. I don't want a situation where, actually it's this way for the girls, isn't it? Well, that was a bit of bumping fashion. So it's this way for the ladies. So what I don't want you to do is end up in a situation where one foot's splayed over there and one foot, over, and you're in this position, all sort of splayed. We don't want splayed. Not in polite society. So what we'd like is we like the legs, as you rock, so lady, your left leg is going to stay basically stationary. It's the right leg that's going to move round. And the left one, the left one does shift, as, is the, as does the boys on. It does shift a little bit, just to reposition, but not massively. It's the movement of the other leg. But what I do with all of it, I'm going to do it as a boy for a second, is that I move everything, not just the leg. Otherwise, it, you know, it looks like I've had a nasty incident. So I'm literally just moving everything back. And as I rock, 
the whole lot goes. You see how my legs are still in the same relationship to where they were before? In relationship to, in relation to each other, they are the remaining the same. One is forward and one is back. Ladies, you're going to do the natural opposite. You're going to move the front foot. So you're going to move this one here, the right leg. And there. And that one goes down. See how I'm pivoting round? But essentially, it's my right leg that moves. Now, you can do as much or as little of this as you like. There is no uh, amount of turn that you should should uh, try and achieve because you might want to go step, step, a rock, 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 and then go back over there. Perhaps you get into the corner or something when you go over there. Up there by the fridge, we go to here, and then we go, oh, we'll go backwards here, so side together. So it's up to you, really. But the, uh, what you do is you start it like this, and then you develop it, try and go more without losing the form, down below, and uh, and then you're starting to sort of the precursor of the pivots. Exciting stuff, I know. Love a pivot. So uh, the exit is pretty. Is basically the same as the basic one. It's just we've done a turn on it. Now another way to get into it. This is an exciting way to get into it. This this you're going to like this. This really now we're really going to motor into the pivots. So this is, that's the basic way of getting into it. This is going to be the slightly more advanced. Do we need to do the advanced one today? Yes. We start from a link. One, two. Do you remember we talked about link? We've done that before. So ladies, you go back on the right, turn and step to the side on the left. All the time, keeping perfect posture. That's our mantra. Perfect posture. All the time. Left foot forward to the side. For the boys. And I do that too. You see what I do with that body? I turn the body. That enables the lady to go from closed position, like a dis, here, and as I step onto the step onto my left foot to the side, I've turned into promenade position. So I've gone from closed, ladies closed, to promenade. To promenade. Probably better if I do it towards you so you can see it. To promenade. All right? So, boys, you go one, two. Now, I'm going to step back a little bit. I'm going to step forward my left foot. I'm going to step forward my right foot. And do you see what I need a bit of my right foot? I just started to sneak across there a little bit. Because my left next foot is going to step across her path. There. I know. I feel it as well. This is beautiful. Now, Ladies, you do this. You've done your link here. You go forwards. You go forwards. He's starting to snake across. You can feel it. Men are like that. They start to snake across. And then suddenly, whoosh, he goes across the front of you with his left foot and his body. Now he's in front of you. You step forward. You go, no, I'm not moving. I'm going forward. <laughs> and then you find yourself stood on your right foot between his feet. So as he steps across... You step forward here, in between, right there, right in the middle. Don't go through his legs, just between his feet. Now, from there, you, ladies, now step to the side, like that. Boys, you, um, uh, you are here, and now, as she steps to the side, you turn your body and step forward between her feet. It doesn't have to be massive, I want a massive turn, just a little one. And now you continue rocking from foot to foot. At that point in time, girls, you'll be here, and then you can rock from foot to foot. Forward, side, together. Should we do that again? All right, let's do that again. Oh, this is exciting. I wasn't going to do I have to let you into a little story. Uh, I'll tell you a little time. I wasn't going to do this, but you, you've come on so much. I've, I've now gone a bit mad. But we've got recap Saturday, so we'll be fine. So I'm in promenade position for the boys. I'm going to go step, step, across her path. She now steps across me. I'm going to step forward towards her. And then I just rock, 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 back, side, together. How's that? Nice? Ladies, you go forward, forward, forward. You're now between his feet. He's here. So he's gone from here to here. And now I'm going to step slightly to the side as he steps forward between my feet. And now we rock the last bit. Step, side, together. 
How's that? Let me have a little read. See how you're doing. That was rather splendid. Well done. Uh, there we go. What we got down here? Um, <laughs> Amy, you understand about the potty training. Well, I'm very grateful for your understanding and for your. <laughs> it's absolutely. It's great fun. I must say that the the, the, the amount of under. The, the pants and knick knocks you go through. I can't even tell you, I must be on about three or four pairs a day. Now, um, love the tango, Michelle. You, I love you. Sophie, love the tango. Uh, by the way, you're German yesterday, it was really good. Ich bitte. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Lara, all the way from Germany. Um, now, I was going to see if there are any questions. Let's have a look. No splayed, don't be splayed, Deborah. Uh, Frankie, yes, advance one, please. Oh, all right, Frankie, come on. Uh, I do my homework while I listen to you. Mar Bonjour, Marion, uh, thank you very much, well done. I love that. Uh, thanks for the effort, and well done, FYI. Uh, Gibraltar isn't Spanish. <laughs> no need to be like that. So here we go, one more time. <laughs> and... Walk the boy. Two, I'm gonna step across her path. Three, and I step forward towards her. There she is. Back I go. Forward, back, back, side, together. Here we go, ready? Forward, ladies, forward, forward between his feet. I step to the side, the lady steps between my feet. Oh, sorry, the man steps between my feet, I'm now the lady. I rock, 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 step, side, together. Now, what are the difference between the Argentine tango and the ballroom tango? The, the ballroom tango is much more progressive. We, in the ballroom world, we, progression is everything. Really. We're trying to move around the floor as much as we can. In the Argentine tango, the whole thing was different. It was danced in salons and bars, etc, etc. So it's much smaller and it's much neater. And so all the, all the uh, intricacies and the uh, effect comes sort of down here. It's all of this sort of stuff that's interesting rather than the sort of movement and the spins and the swivels of the ball and tango. It's, they are always much sort of bigger. Um, now, th there is a lot that's come from the Argentine tango that's been brought into the ball and tango because of the decorations, as they call it, uh, is uh, are really interesting and really fabulous to watch. So they've introduced as much as they can, but as I say, the progression of the ballroom tango makes some of it a bit tricky to do. Now, uh, the hold is another thing that is different. The, the, the Argentine tango is a much closer hold. It's much more sort of intimate. It's much more together. You're sort of almost leaning chest to chest, so you're a little bit further away in the base, and, and, and that enables you to be able to do all the the flicks and swivels and, and all this sort of stuff. Certainly for the lady, otherwise you kick each other to death. The ballroom tango is, from, from the body's perspective, is exactly the same. We are the same as the other ballroom dances. We're touching through the body, our, our knees sort of slight to come into each other a little bit here. The difference is the foot position here rather than side by side. We have a little step backwards. That's, we won't talk too much about that. But um, the art, what I want to talk about mostly is the hold. So the hold in the normal ballroom dances I feel like I'm stood up here quite tall, my elbows are picked up as a, ball, as a boy, and my hand is on the lady's uh, shoulder blade, which is uh, up here, boys, it's not down here, just right, okay. And, and I feel quite high, quite wide, like that, they are, and the lady st stands there, and now I feel I can dance through my elbows into the body, and, it, and, and so on. The lady's hand of the left hand is placed on the man's upper arm, all right, so it's there. Now in tango, this arm comes in a little bit my, for the man. The ballroom hold, so to clear that up a little bit, the normal ball hold for the lady is up here as well, so natural opposite. Now when we talk about tango, everything gets a little bit more condensed. So the left arm for the man sort of just comes in, you get a bit more angle through the elbow, just to get a bit of, that's purely for style. So I'm just styling the elbow a little bit. Already, here looks like a waltz, here suddenly looks a bit more like a tango, a bit more angular. 
The other most important thing, though, is the right arm. So it goes from the lady's shoulder blade here with a wide elbow. I just drop it a bit lower so it's nearer her waist. It's not down by her waist. It's nearer her waist and a little bit further across. So I feel like my fingertips are just sort of sort of towards her spine, in actual fact. Just a little bit. And the reason for that is because the lady's arm doesn't sit on top of the man's right arm any longer. It wraps over the top of the arm and hooks under the upper arm. So your, your sort of legs, you're here with your palm facing down or your palm facing towards the man. And you just sort of interlock there and you wrap the arm around but over the top of the man's right arm. Now that's very difficult with the man's arm stuck up here. So I just bring it down into here and the lady can hook over the top of it more. And now we've got a nice sort of sharp elbow to elbow feel, but it's not its elbow, my elbow, to the lady's elbow. So that nice sharp angle. So it gives you a bit of a different look and a bit more compact and it gives it um, a real feeling of tango. Oh, I hope I'm not getting one of them. Now, so, now we've established the hold, the knees bend a little bit more here and the whole thing just feels a bit more compact because I really want to be able to turn quite quickly in tango. So any time I want to do something like this here, I want to be able to do it sort of a bit down and a bit compact. If I'm all up and high, it has a different sort of feel. It becomes a bit waltzy or a bit foxtrotty. Or it all becomes so much more elegant. And here I want to be just a bit more here, a bit more sort of, as a bit more feeling of urecha, which is, you know, another word that we like to use. <laughs> yes, I think we understand the sentiment. So, urecha, it's a bit more cool. Ooh, passionate, Ooh, yeah. so that's the, the big difference between the, the ballroom dances in the hold and the tango. It's vitally important that that changes, otherwise it's, otherwise it's very difficult to dance the dance. Uh, and then the difference between the Argentine tango and the ballroom tango. The Argentine tango is much more here, much more compact, chest to chest. Ballroom tango, body line still remains the same, always perfect posture at all time. And, uh, and but a bit more of a compact hold and the knee slightly flexed. The reason you want great posture is because when we're doing turns, it's so much easier to do turns, things like the pivots, when we're starting to pivot here like this. We want great posture, both of us, because otherwise it doesn't turn, it just sort of rocks and the whole thing goes, and it's a disaster, it's a disaster. So if you want great posture, all the turns are made much easier just because you're standing well. Look at that. I mean, that's an easy bit of technique, isn't it? Just because you're down well, now you can turn beautifully. Um, so there you go. So we've got ourselves a, uh, a rock turn, the slightly advanced one where we actually are starting to turn because that's our sort of precursor to pivots. And we've started it either in a basic way, a rock, 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 a backside together, so you can just walk into it and rock out. Or we can do the advanced one, which is from promenade for the boy's step, Step, step across the lady's path. I step forward, my right foot between her feet, and then I rock the end. Step, side, together. And the lady, you come from promenade, you go forward, forward, you step between the boy's feet, you step to the side of the boy, and he steps between your feet, and now you start to rock. Step, side, together. And it's that relationship of your foot the person going forward in regards to the, the person stepping to the side, that step between the feet and then leaving it between the feet whilst doing the rock, that's the vital part for pivots. But we'll come to that when we talk about pivots in the future. Thank you very much indeed. That was terrific. I loved that. That was, uh, that was quite advanced, really. We are cracking on with this old dancing malarkey. I must say, you're all doing bubbles. Well, Sheila, good morning. I hope you enjoy that. Saffron, hello, my love. And, um, well, let's go down a little bit further. Love Born Tango, says Elizabeth. Well, I love it too. Um, now, with tomorrow morning, we're going to... Uh, oh, but posture is the best thing. Uh, oh, and no back pain. Oh, well done, Deb. I love that. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the same as we did last Friday. You choose the dance, and we'll start a little poll. Uh, we'll pick three dances, actually you choose the dance, and what we'll do is we'll just take a poll of all the dances that come in, and then we'll pick the one that you fancy doing. Could be a new dance, 
maybe so we haven't done any samba if we could do a bit of samba uh, i know american smooth has been asked about a few times that needs a bit of room but we can do a little bit of something on that we can just do a few sort of jazzy things which would be quite smart so we could do a bit of that so um or we can carry on with argentine tango a bit more tap so we'll do it. so you choose and i'll see you if not this afternoon for our workout i'll see you in the morning thank you all very much indeed stay safe it's going to be a hot day today. If you can get out in the garden, do. And maybe I'll see you later. But otherwise, see you in the morning. Thank you. Well done.